Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to prove that n squared is greater than or equal to n for all positive integers n. We're going to do it using something called the principle of mathematical induction. So when you're using the principle of mathematical induction, it's always a good idea to identify your statement. So in this problem, our statement is right here. I'm going to use the notation s sub n. Okay, let's go through the proof. So proof. I like to do my induction proofs in three steps. So the first step is called the base step or the base case. And in this step, you basically show it's true uh, for your starting point. So the smallest positive integer that you're working with. So here it says for all positive integers. So in other words, n is greater than or equal to one. So we start at one. So if n is equal to one, what do we have? On the left hand side we have 1 squared and that's equal to 1 and so we know then that 1 squared is greater than or equal to 1 so that's exactly what we have here you basically take your 1 and you just plug it into your statement so 1 squared on the left greater than or equal to 1 so this means our statement is true when n is equal to 1 so this means that s of 1 is true the next step is called the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. So the, in the induction hypothesis, you assume your statement is true for some positive integer k. So I'm going to write that down. So I'll say suppose that our statement is true when n equals k. In other words, s sub k is true. Well, that, what that means is you're just plugging k for everything. So k squared greater than or equal to k. And then you just say for some positive integer k. Okay, so you just basically say suppose that plug in k and then just make sure to say uh, for some positive integer k. The next step is the hardest step. It's called the induction step. So induction step. So this is where you have to show it's true for n equals k plus 1. So it's really beneficial to write down that. So let's write that down. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say we must show that our statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So I'm going to replace the n here on the left with k plus 1. So it'll be k plus 1 squared greater than or equal to, and then just replace this n also with k plus 1. So k plus 1. So this is what we have to show. Notice that I wrote we must show. Um, it's really important if you're like taking a class or turning this in for a homework assignment or something that you write that down, okay? Because if you just write the, if you just write this down, then uh, whoever's reading your work will be like, well, <laughs> they didn't prove it. You have to show this is true. Okay, so now let's show it's true. So by letting the reader know that you're trying to show that, you're also letting them know that, hey, you know, I'm, I haven't really proven it yet. I just, I'm writing it down just so you know that what's what I'm trying to show. So then, so then, we start with this side, start with this. So k plus 1 parentheses squared. And we somehow have to show it's greater than or equal to k plus 1. So in order to do that, we have to involve our induction hypothesis somehow. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. So the formula for this says you square the first one, so k squared. You multiply these and double them. So 1 times k is k, times 2 is 2k. And then you square the last one, so just plus 1. So multiplying it out, uh, we get this. And we need to get rid of uh, this k squared because we're trying to get to k plus 1. So what we do is we put a greater than or equal to here, and we replace the k squared with the k. Right? That's from this. Okay, that's from this. So k squared is greater than or equal to k. k squared is greater than or equal to k. The rest of this stuff just hangs out. So just plus 2k, plus 1. Like, if none of this was here, you would just have k squared greater than or equal to k. 
So by putting that by putting that here, 2k plus 1, it doesn't really affect anything. So um, it just stays there. People have a hard time with this step. They say, what about this? It just hangs out. All right, so we need to show that this is bigger than um, k plus 1. Well, I'm going to write it like this, k plus 1 plus 2k. Just, just so you see that we basically already have the k plus 1. We just have to get rid of this. But that's pretty easy because this is greater than k plus 1 plus 0. And the reason is 2k, well, k is a positive integer, so this is greater than 0, right? So boom. And so we have that this is equal to k plus 1. So we've basically shown that k plus 1 squared, so k plus 1 squared, is greater than k plus 1. Now, we only wanted to show what's greater than or equal to. So this is actually stronger. So we can actually just make another step and say, hey, just to be really clear, um, you know, this is actually greater than or equal to k plus 1. Okay, because uh, if it's greater than, it's certainly greater than or equal to, right? For greater than or equal to be, for, for the statement greater than or equal to to be true, uh, it can be greater than or equal to, hence the name greater than or equal to. So this does imply uh, this here. So that's it. We have shown that S sub K plus 1 is true. And that completes the proof, right? So thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, I'll call it PMI, N squared is greater than or equal to N for all positive integers and usually finish with something like this you know this is like the glory moment uh, you've done all the work that's just a way to finish your proofs I like to use a box with an X other people use other symbols um, that's it I hope this video has been helpful